here at the Snapple Theater rehearsal room and that what you just heard was Magic, the brand new song from the Joker's Game, the multi-million dollar musical that's now going to be done in China. And we're with Louis St. Louis, musical extraordinaire. So what we just heard was from the brand new musical, The Joker's Game. Right. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Oh yeah. Uh, it's Star-Crossed Lovers is an underpinning, I would say. Uh, it opens in the Tang Dynasty, 12th century, and there's, the Empress is in, in the court and she's looking for a, a husband for her daughter. And those same characters transfer in the end of the prologue to modern day. And uh, a, a magician appears, and of course Kate is crazy for the magician instantly, and uh, the Empress is saying, you know, no way, I'm a magician, please, get serious. Um, but this begins an affair in a very complicated series of events, and it has real magic on the Houdini level that is mind-blowing. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful production directed by Tony Stimak, who was originally from here, Musical Theater Works, and this is a guy to whom I can say, never can say no. The team is wonderful, and Kemen Zhang from China is a co-writer and a magic, brilliant magician, and James Ratchef. My new heart, the, this is the most brilliant lyricist, please. I, I can't say enough. Uh, anyway, it's very exciting, and I've also now written six new songs uh, being added to the score, and I wrote them in six weeks. It opens uh, formally September 1st. Can you tell us the difference between working with strictly American artists and working with Chinese artists and American artists in that combination? You mean other than the language barrier? Uh, lots of aspects are the same, and then there's a difference because they don't have the theater history that we have, so they don't have that experience either, but they're so in earnest and they so want to be good. And you know, and in China, everything is face. I mean, they would die if they thought they had insulted you or that they did a bad job. Now you've also been commissioned for a second piece. I have. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I love the Joker's game a lot, but this is a plum and a half. This is the Monkey King, which is one of the most ancient of legends in China. All children grow up on it, like our children grow up on fairy tales. They grow up on the Wizard of Oz. This is a hundred chapter book if you want to do some reading. I think here mostly known as the second half Journey to the West. Right. It's about a monkey born out of a rock that is lodged in the side of a mountain for 5,000 years. And he is very imperious and very snarly and very smart. Andre de Shields would be a great monkey king. <laughs> Michael Jackson would be the ultimate monkey king. Now, does that have <laughs> plans for coming to the U.S.? Yeah, this, this has big plans to be international. And the idea now is, I can't tell you where, but in a very famous place in Beijing, for four or five months at a clip, May of 212, 213, and 214, a trilogy. Oh, which nice. means we get to do actually the whole thing. Because you can't do the whole thing in one evening. It's, it's just too immense. So I'm very, very excited.